Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to first announce that my grandson was born uh, June 10th at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, he's beautiful, he was seven pounds, six ounces. We are as happy as can be. So let's get started with this DIY. DIY number one, I can hardly call it a DIY. I took one of these planters from the Dollar Tree as well as that lemon hat and I'm simply going to put those two together. So can you kind of see what I mean? It's not a DIY, it's more of a put together. But I thought I would show you how I put mine together and how, um, or I should say different ways that you can utilize this bucket. So let's get started. I'm just going to take my that hat and I'm going here. I'm just kind of playing around and figuring out how I want to use it. And here I'm just going to stick it down as even as I can. And I put that bag of rocks in there as my weight and kind of hold it down because I'm going to tack down the rim of that hat and make kind of like a ruffle to go around. So I'm going to, I'm going to take my hot glue and right at that first seam of the hat, I'm going to tack it down there first, and then I'm going to tack it down on the opposite end of the hat, which is also a seam. And then I will tack it down in between those two seams, kind of get to get an even ruffle. So here I'm going straight across right on that seam. I'm just going to tack it down. And then I'll go right in the middle of that, right straight across, and so on, so on. So here I'm just going to tack it down, like I said, right in the middle of each tack and, or not tack, but glue, <laughs> and that's going to create that ruffle look. So I'm just trying to be very careful and get it as even as I can. So how simple is that? You can't get any simpler than that. <laughs> I mean, it's it's just, you know, two pieces and, and make them one. And I searched around my house for the right size bucket. When I saw the hat at the Dollar Tree, I knew I wanted to use the material in some fashion. And I didn't even need to take it apart. I just found a pot that, you know, would work okay with it. So if you wanted to, you know, remake this, you can find any pot, even a galvanized pot would work, I think. But that wood barrel, uh, wine barrel look, just it just so farmhouse. I think it goes so well with the lemons. So here we are. Here I have some snacks just sitting inside the basket. And then I have some greenery, which is very, very pretty. I added a little bit of lemons to that. And here I have it with some onions. Here I have it um, uh, right when you walk in my front door. I put our keys and our sunglasses in there. Okay, so DIY number two. For this DIY, I'm gonna use uh, the candle holder and the floral dish from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take some flat white paint and some matte 
finishing spray and I'm going to give that a couple coats. I'm going to use super glue and some hot glue. I'll be using some greenery, those white rocks, and these mini lemons that I found on Amazon. They're so, so cute. So what I did is I took that Loctite super glue that I just got at the Dollar Tree. Yes, Loctite, brand name at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take that instead of V6000, I'm gonna see how this works, and then I'll use some hot glue as well just to give it that immediate hold so it'll stay in place and won't slide around until it dries. And I did let that dry for about two or three hours before I gave it two coats of the white flat paint and then one coat of the, uh, not the satin, the, um, the matte finishing spray. And the reason I did that um, is for one, they didn't have matte white paint. They only had the flat, which they look the same to me after I painted it, you know, they look very similar. But I wanted that finishing spray because I felt like the paint was gonna wanna scratch off of the, the glass and the plastic. So I just wanted to seal that in real nice. So here I'm just adding that super glue and then I'll add some hot glue. And in the next clip, it'll be all painted and you know, TV world or YouTube world, it's just like that and it'll be done. <laughs> And like I said, just like that, it's all painted. So now we have had two pieces and now we have one and it's painted white and it has a matte finish on it. I'm gonna take some of those white rocks and pour those right in. Um, but doesn't this just look so nice on its own? Um, this would be nice to put your keys and your sunglasses glasses in as well. Um, but I'm gonna use mine in a different way. I did go grab a uh, one of those LED candles. Um, I just wanted to see what it looked like, but it was just too white. So I didn't go with that. Um, I ended up putting that back. Plus, I wanted the, I wish the, the flame was a cooler flame instead of the yellow. Um, I, I just thought it would look much better with a white flame. So here I'm just gonna add some rocks around that candle and kind of see how it looks and how I feel about it. Um, it was okay, it just wasn't um, my initial idea. So I did move on to um, what I had sketched out. So here I'm taking that candle out and then I'm going to add another bag of the white rocks. Um, one bag just didn't fill it up as well as I wanted. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to start rearranging my pieces, just seeing how I like it. And I'll just play some music and just let you watch how I put this together.
But now you're slipping through my fingers As the darkness in me lingers Was praying for possibilities Lately you got the best of me, yeah. You got the best of me Embracing our insecurities Better to cry and say So this is a DIY that is a little more expensive than I would normally make. So if you count the candle holder and the floral bowl or dish, there's $2 and then the moss balls are another dollar. So there's three, the rock four five. Um, the greenery was 97 cents, I believe at Walmart. So there's $6. And then add in those little mini uh, lemons that were another $6. So it's a $12 piece, but it's a piece that I will probably keep on my kitchen table for quite some time. It matches the decor in my kitchen now. And it's just got that modern farmhouse look, which I love. So yeah. So, but you know, if you didn't want to buy those mini lemons, you can put the lemons from the Dollar Tree or... You know if you didn't want to do lemons you can add some more of those floral balls or um, you didn't have to put anything else you could put rock and a candle so that would have only been four dollars five dollars so yeah you can just play around with it and or you can just use what you have it in your stash and you know make it work for your home And so here I was, I was trying that candle one more time and no, I didn't like it. So this is the way I left it and this is the final reveal. <laughs> so here it is on my kitchen table. Doesn't it look just so elegant and, and clean lines and it's, it just, there, I, there's just something about it that I just love. So I'm gonna probably end up keeping it this way. Well, pro not probably, I am gonna keep it this way. So this will be my centerpiece on my kitchen table for at least um, until summer's over. So here it is. I hope you all enjoyed my video today. It was quick and easy and if you liked my video, can you give me a big thumbs up? And if you're new and you like um, DIYs and you like store hauls and a little bit of cooking and just to hear a little bit about my life, 
I hope you stick around and subscribe. With all that said, don't forget to hit that like button. I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.